Look, someone's over there. Buddha. What is up, guys? We are back for some more Sea of Stars, and we just became Solstice Warriors and are making our way back. It was a pretty intense fight because I stupidly forgot that <laughs> you can also target the, the sword arm. So in order to make that first fight way easier, target the sword arm first. Uh, it'll stop the counter, and then you can target the main boss. <laughs> Good morning. The time has come to begin your journey. Morning? But it's the middle of the night. Ah, uh, yes, I suppose your friend should address that. Address what? Bring us the dawn. We can do that? Ooh, all it takes is for you to stand on a celestial rune. And then what? Something inside of you knows already. Right this way. Now, concentrate and bring us the dawn. Use R2 and L2 while standing on Celestial Runes to change the time of day. Wow, we just... <laughs> yeah, we went forward in time, pretty much. How'd you do that? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen! Ooh. That part is always easier by simply going for it. Now, in your travels, you will sometimes find mechanisms and seals powered by magical runes that react to the time of day. They were put into place by solstice warriors who came before you. Some conceal artifacts meant to help future members of the order such as yourself, while others seal away evils that were too powerful to confront. Whether or not to look for these artifacts and challenges will be entirely up to you. Now your journey can begin. Come and meet me beyond this chasm. All right. How do we get across? By using your powers, of course. Meet me on the other side, and as a farewell gift, I shall share with you what I could read in the mist of time. Try using the crystal to charge the smaller rune on the ground above and see what happens. Try using... Ah, okay. That's actually pretty dope. I like that. There's like cool mechanics that they're adding to the game. Ever miss Island's Landing. Are you ready to be sent out into the world? Let us see you often, but first your prophecies. I will speak them to your minds directly, for they are yours and yours alone. Zael, step forward. In order to reach your full potential, you will first need to stare at the night inside of you. Thank you, Elder Mist. Belair, approach. When the time comes, you'll be the one to create paths on water. Understood. Oh. I get one too? Awesome! You must be mindful of your limitations during this journey. You got it, Elder Miss. Carl, this is not a conversation. Oh, my bad. Carry on. <laughs> the myths are unclear in your case, but it appears your heart might be warm enough to soothe a long-tormented soul. Okay, I'll do my best. You have now learned everything I could teach you. I am sending you to Sleeper Island, where you are fated to meet a crew bound for adventure. Make friends with them, and they shall help you reach Wrath Island in time for the next eclipse. I always want to say Wrath, but it's Wraith, right? To activate this giant, give it the name x -Toll to be sent to Sleeper Island. To return to your Simply go to Exol or Extol and speak this one's name, which is Extol. Cool. Wow. Well, I suppose we won't be seeing each other for a while. Oof. 
<laughs> get sent. It didn't say travel to, it said get sent. <laughs> And so it was that Valer and Zail were sent off to begin their journey with their best friend, the warrior Cook and Toad. In their quest to get to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse, they would soon come to grips with two very powerful wizards. One by Anger Beset, Beset and the other of Life Bereft. Okay, bars. He's like, sorry about that. <laughs> no way, that was awesome. The Elder Miss wasn't kidding. What a ride. Who knew the world was so big? So, what now? Find a boat, I suppose. The ground level, then. There's only one way we can go from here anyway. Yeah, I guess so. But still kind of funny that Carl got us sent out before we were kind of finished up talking anyway. 90 gold. Oh, we're, we're kind of getting rich, right? So we could fight. More so, it looks like we have to fight. Dang, okay, that hit hard. We got a bone, some lettuce. We'll go be nosy and see what's over here. But one thing, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm actually uh, really enjoying like the content, the dialogue, and how this story's unfolding too. Rainbow Conch. I'll, this makes me think about uh, <laughs> Spongebob when they had like the magic conch. Might interest a collector. Okay, well, I guess we got to take that to someone. And at least they're giving us like all these like vegetables and stuff to pick up. Oh, who are you? Is that another member on the team that we could potentially get? Oh snap, what? But I think I definitely will be fishing more uh, in the game. Most likely like off, off stream or, you know, when I'm not recording. Just because that's going to be like something boring for you guys to watch. The surface feels fragile. It would probably break if we jumped from high enough. Okay. What else is over here? Because I will say, at least they're giving us like an open world to actually explore. So it looks like, at least right now, there's like a, a linear path to go, but they give you options to go explore elsewhere. What are these? Oh, mushrooms. Dang, that's hella mushrooms.
we interact with that? Okay, it looked like a, an area we could have crawled into. Time has made the runes indecipherable. Okay. Understandable. Oh dang, the one up there came down too. Okay, yeah, that was a, a, a smart decision there. That's gonna be interesting then. So we can use the items to interact with like stuff outside. Power belt. Uh, attack power plus four. Yeah, I'll give it to her because I think yeah, her physical attack is like really high. Compared to the brother who's is better at uh magical attacks. Making sure there's nothing else over there. Like now would be a good time to come across uh, the fire pit or bonfire. Oh dang! It didn't close to a level up. Oh come on, where did y'all 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 came out of nowhere, I swear. Okay, level up. Let's see what we gotta choose from. they would heal up on level up, but I guess not. <laughs> Was anybody full? It'd be kind of neat if they, like, allow for your proficiency in the magic to go up so you get, like, uh, reduced mana cost or something. And this game is like so interesting because it's like it makes you just want to explore. See, so, yeah, now I'm like wondering, I'm like, did I go to the right like look? Oh wait, that has like the conch symbol. But like, how do I activate that? Can't do anything with that either. Oh, let's see how this fight goes. I guess we can swim.
Kill Amber Ore. Kinda wonder how we get through that then. Oh, finally. We can... We can cook! Like good just to have like these items like ready to go. Dang, that was nice. <laughs> I was like, a good amount of damage from that. Oh man, I hate when these things like pop up like this. Uh, I'm like, now it's like a matter of like, which one do I care about more? I guess I don't want the bombs because that hits like everybody. Oh, I don't have enough. Damn, I played myself. I'm not even gonna lie, like that fight had me kinda wondering what the hell. <laughs> but we gotta fall hella high up for this? Not sure what this is for. Wait, did we do all that just for some damn lettuce? At least I see like stuff we can interact with at least. Rock lid. Not sure what that's for. Gonna have to figure out a way up there. But I guess maybe going through here. Oh, there's more of y'all. Okay. Uh I should try to go into fights, like, <laughs> with more mana. Because I could have got this middle one to not do its attack. But I'm, like, looking, I'm like, dang, the whole team's, like, low on mana.
Oh, I did that too early. I want to use the two point combo to fully heal us so when we start off like our next fight we're fully healed. Um... Yeah, I was like, we're gonna end up killing. <laughs> Unfortunately. Don't even know where I'm going. Oh, we just jump through. Oh, that got us to the chest. Mushroom soup, all right. And you know what, guys? I'm thinking I'm gonna end up doing live streams for this. Look, someone's over there. We should ask for directions. She looks busy. But well, I'm sure it's fine. Hello, is there something special about that big rock? Yes, come look at this. It's... This looks like... Nah, it must be my imagination. <clears throat> so what are those? Fascinating is what they are. What? These runes are the oldest form of writing known to us. Who's us? Traveling historians, of course. Or at least, what's left of them. No way, you're a traveling historian? Nice to meet you, my name is Garl. Nice to meet you too, I'm Teeks. Okay, Teeks. So are your friends always this quiet? Nah, Valer and Zale are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for too many years. Like, oh, they're solstice warriors? <laughs> Magic hair. Enchanted cloth pieces. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> You're solstice warriors. Yes, yes we are. I knew it! Adventurous spirits, fate is unraveled, Mr. Spirits have been battle and encounter countless forgotten heart. <laughs> this girl's hype. A traveling historian's best friends. <laughs> I mean... Well, someone's excited. And we thought Garl was something. Hey guys, Teeks has an offer for us and I think it's worth hearing out. Yeah, you want to travel with us? <laughs> sure, what's up? I'm not sure how to explain it properly. It's about my book. You're trying to complete your book and you want to travel with us, capturing more history, I guess? 
Why don't you eat with us tonight? Teeks, this place is perfect to set up camp. Oh, well, don't be shy. We're happy to have you. Yeah, plus you have to try Carl's cooking. I, okay, thanks. That's it, one stew coming right up. Thanks again for the food, Carl. You really are pretty good. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join us again anytime. So you're the very last traveling historian? At this point, I might as well be the first. It's been so long since all the lore grimoires were burned. The what now? Lore grimoires. Or grimmers. Yeah, lore grimmers. <laughs> Every traveling historian has one, or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Whoa. A child historian's duty is to make their lore grimoire, or grimmer, I keep saying grimoire, lore grimoire, grimmer, as full as possible before passing it on to a new recruit. There used to be a guild and a whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here. Which leads to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot. Well, you see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers who can keep an eye out for them. I don't have a way to pay you, but if you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumbled upon during your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you if you're always traveling? Don't worry about it. I'll just drop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. It's the perfect setting for telling stories. Story time by the campfire. Sign me up. Great. Just bring me any artifacts you find, and we'll see how my Lord Grimmer reacts. How many stories do you have so far? Just the one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. This first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real lore grimmer. They were thought extinct. What's the story about? A ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. I can read it for you if you want. Feel free to ask. Uh... Nah, <laughs> we're actually going to end the episode off right here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go through and start speeding up slash skipping some of like the, the battles. So that way these videos aren't so long since the fights actually take a lot of time, but they're worth the EXP since it's like as we level up, we get more EXP from fighting these mobs. So with that said, guys, make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out that video a lot and also subscribe to my channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, catch you later. Stay sharp. Peace.